guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I have changed my mind. We are not going to do a use up old paint video like we did in the last one. <laughs> I wanted to sneak in a fun uh, holiday bloom in swipe. I've got some more of those metal cutouts that I get from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to have some fun with those today before we go back to using up more old paint. So that is what this video is going to be. So let's go get started. All right. For this first piece, I've got an actually let me show you. This is a metal ornament cutout piece that I get at the Dollar Tree. I just taped up the back. I have a little pillow paint down here to secure it. Otherwise, it will go flying off of my dry spinner. <laughs> so we're going to do a bloom on this one. I haven't done I feel like I haven't done a bloom in a while. So I wanted to do a bloom on this ornament one. I'm going to show you the... I've got a bunch of different colors for this video because we're going to be doing the two pieces. But this first one, I'll show you the colors for this first one, and then we'll get going with it. I've got the colors, the cell activator, and the pillow ready to go. So the first color is going to be, I've got a mixture of the Praj Posse Ellen's Red Shimmer. I loved how this mixes up, especially because it has a little subtle shimmer in it, but it wasn't, I wanted it a little bit more red. So I added just a few squirts of this uh, Napethal Red Medium, the Golden Fluid. And this is the consistency. Um, everything except for one is mixed up with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. And I will call that out. The next one I have is this little piggy's gog gall. <laughs> ball gown, Jody, it, which is an interference gold. And this one is mixed up with my, I just have not too much left and it's gotten thick on me but we're just going to roll with it because we're only going to use a little but this is the dutch boy Josonia pouring medium everything else like i said is the valspar varathane and then my next color i have got uh another praj posse victoria's muscadine wine and i've had this mixed up as well i uh I mixed this up and it wasn't getting to the burgundy I wanted, so I added just a little bit of the Josonia burgundy in just to help it out a little bit to get the color that I wanted. So this is the consistency of that. And then finally, I've got Josonia's titanium white. And that's what that's mixed up what that looks like mixed up. Now for my cell activator, I wanted to do something fun since this is a holiday pour. I've got, this is actually PBO. Let me get the tube here. This is actually a PBO, their precious, iridescent precious gold is what this is. And I have done it in a, I've used this in a swipe before, but I can't remember using it in a bloom. But this is uh, that paint mixed with the Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part of the paint. And then my pillow, <clears throat> then my pillow is going to be the Glidden Premium in satin. And I think I have just enough left for this. I'm just going to spread this out really quick. I'll be right back. All right. Since these are cutouts, I don't have to worry about the sides. So the first color I'm going to start with is the uh, Ellen's Red Shimmer Mixture. And I'm just going to put it in the middle like so. And then we've got the ball gown piggy pigment, which is again, it's a gold interference color. So it'll, it won't have this white cast to it. Once it dries, you'll just see like gold subtle shimmers. And then I have the muscadine wine mix here with the burgundy. And I'm going to put a little bit of the titanium white on the top. Since we're using a gold cell activator, I kind of wanted to have a little bit of white on the top. All right. I'm 
it should be plenty. let that fill in. I do want to add a few little embellishments, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. a lot of gold in here both with the the cell activator and then also that interference gold I can see it kind of on an angle that looks really neat all right I am excited to see what this looks like spun out so I will meet you over the spinner box oh, that's filling in really nicely there's what that looks like before we spin it out and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give her a spin like so. Oh, now I can see the outline. <laughs> I couldn't see the outline before. Wow. Gosh, this is just gorgeous. I've still got a little bit more paint left on. Go this way. All right, I can see the outline, but I'm trying to find the top. There it is. There's the top of it. Oh, wow, this is just so cool. All right, let me just give it one more baby spin and I think I think we're there. I'm not getting a lot of movement, so it's gonna dry really nicely. There's a lot of little baby cells in there, but they're multi-dimensional in that gold. And I just love how this red is coming through with the white, just a little bit of white peeking in there. I just want one more little baby spin. All right, I am totally digging that. E. Oh, wow. Look at that. Gosh, that is so pretty. Well, there's what that one looks like. All right, now we're going to do the snowman. All right. For the second piece, I've got the little snowman, whoops, the little snowman metal cutout. I had to scrape it once. The idea I had just did not work out, but I've taped up the back and I've put a little bit of uh, pillow paint on here to secure him so he doesn't go flying off. I'm going to run through, I'm using a different color palette for this snowman piece. I'm going to run through the colors really quick, the cell activator, and we're going to use the same pillow. So the, I'm going to go with kind of like a, a more blue, blue and white theme here. The first color is this little piggy uh, mermaid. And this is mixed up with the, all the colors here except for one are, are again mixed up uh, with the Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium Mix. There's that one. And then I have the PBO Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent 
blue black and oops here's what that one looks like I feel like this isn't centered there we go and then I have the ball gown again the interference the list little piggy the ball gown uh, the interference gold that we used in the ornament piece we just did and this is this is the Dutch boy Joe Sonia. This is the only one that's a different pouring medium. And then I've got PBO Studio Acrylics, the iridescent blue green. It's pretty sim similar to the mermaid, but it's a little bit lighter. I wanted a couple of different blues, just a, you know, a shade or two lighter. And we're still going to use the the gold the gold cell activator, but I also want to use a white cell activator. This is the Atelier Interactive Titanium White mixed with Australian Floetrol at uh, 4 to 1. This is a little bit thicker than I'm used to. The Amsterdam is usually a little bit thinner. So we're going to see how this goes. It's been, it is cooler in my studio because it's, it, it is winter, just about winter time. It stays at between 68, 60, 67, 68. So my paints are a bit thicker. The uh, the pillow is the same as the ornament we just did, the um, Glidden Premium in Satin. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to put too much on here. I think that should be enough. Let me spread this out really quick and I'll be right back. All right. I want to do a swipe on this. I'm going to use smaller pal palette knives. I've, I've got a number of them, so I'll probably pick and choose between these. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this one and I'm going to just Kind of put some color here. I think I'm gonna put down some mermaid. We're gonna go with the his head portion. I'm gonna put some mermaid down. And then we're gonna put some of the iridescent blue black. And a little bit of the ball gown. And then the iridescent blue green. And then I'm going to load up the two cell activators on here. I've got the gold first, and then I've got the white cell activator. And I just want to. Swipe like so. I'm going to put some color along here. I'm going to do three lines. I'm going to do one here and then I might do another one, but I'm going to put some of the color. I just have the white on this time. Alright, I want to go, I want to carry on this theme. I'm going to put some more here, but I think I'm going to use the gold cell activator. Change my mind. I have both on there.
<laughs> that was a lot of swipes for such a small little piece, but I didn't like what I was seeing. I do now. I really like everything that's coming out. I'm just, these are filling in a little bit more. All right, I'm going to let this fill in, but I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see how this turns out. Here's what we got before we start spinning it out. I think I'm just going to give it a nice healthy spin. I can kind of see where the outline of the snowman is. Oh, this is so cool. All right. I still have paint that needs to come off, but I know some of the cooler cells. Let's see, where's the silhouette? I really like what's happening here. I don't really want to spin it anymore. <laughs> I want to keep this, but this is below. Bring this down just a little. One more little baby spin. I don't really want to spin anymore, and I love the flow of it. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I might have to... I might have to let that dry and see if I can peel that up. Ugh, oh, that is so cool. There's what that snowman looks like. I am going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of both of these little cuties. All right, here is the flyover of this guy. Look at all those sparkles in there. I just love how these cells came out, especially the middle. I, I was a little worried. I was like, oh no, come on. But they came out, especially with spinning it. I just love the multi-dimension of it with the, with the gold and then the red and the white. So pretty. It almost looks, up here, it almost looks like a pomegranate. I love this sparkle. So there's the ornament piece. All right, here's the flyover of this guy. I just love the blend of the, uh, the blue with the gold and the white. This is exactly what I was kind of envisioning. And I love the little sparkles in there. Oh, I love those cells right there where it looks like, I mean, it's just got everything in there. Cute little, cute little snowman. I can't wait to see how both of these dry. So I'll be back once they're both dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the uh, fun little cutouts that we just did. And they dry beautifully overall. I did have a few issues with, um, I think they were drying a little bit too fast. Sometimes it just happens here in my studio like, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I've got, you know, my, my humidifier set at a certain point, but if it gets uh, a little bit too chilly in here, especially if I have the heat off, if I'm resining. <laughs> so it's, it's one thing or another, but I'm going to point out, um, what happens in my situation and maybe if you if uh it's happened with you in your pieces and you aren't quite sure why it's 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 usually environmental so but this uh the first piece the ornament i just i just love this this guy i <laughs> I love the cells that it created, especially in the center here. And some of these over here just look like little pomegranates and it does have a nice shimmer to it, but I'm going to bring it in so you can see it closer. I love all these cells. They're so cute. This is what I was talking about with the pomegranate, but let me kind of show you. Like, see right here? It almost looks like a bubble that's in the middle of being popped and it dried that way. I... <laughs> Oh, but I mean, it, it happens and it usually happens in the winter for me. And, you know, pieces like this, especially here, 
I'm going to resin over it and you're really not going to see it. And this is something I'm going to keep for myself and put in our holiday decorations. But, you know, if you if you see something like that, it's usually has to do with your environment. And or <laughs> like with me, if I come back and I'm checking on a piece and I see a bubble and I try to pop it and, you know, the paint's already half dried, this will happen. <laughs> so just I just wanted you to I wanted you to see that in case you had any issues like that as well but and here's the snowman I can't I can't decide which one's my favorite I, they're both so different and they're just both so cute <laughs> but here he is as a whole and I just love that gold this gold uh, cell activator I used and some of these cells that came up I just love the movement and I mean it just it reminds me of a winter wonderland really see if I can get some more. I actually, I had a couple of dried bits in my paint, but again, I'm going to resin over these and these are just going to be so cute. It's little holiday decorations. And if you can see, it does have, it does come with a little piece of rope and I had taped over. So I'll just poke it back out once I, or actually drill it out once I resin it and put, uh, Put the rope back on but that's what that guy looks like and I really just love those I love the, the colors so I'm really enjoying the these metal cutouts as opposed to the wood ones I do like the wood ones but sometimes they kind of bend a little they warp a little and it makes it a little bit more difficult to resin or I can't even resin them at all so I've been kind of gravitating towards the metal cutouts when I see them at the Dollar Tree and I've I, I like them. I, they, they paint well, they resin well. So if you see them and want to try them, I'd say go for it. So, <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So before we go, I just want to say, I hope everyone has a safe, warm, and happy holiday. So from my family to yours, happy holidays, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.